Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to learn five important techniques that'll level up your work. So let's not waste any time and dive right in. But first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and hit the bell so you don't miss future After Effects tutorials. All right, the first pro technique is masking an effect. Now, in After Effects, there are plenty of times when we want to apply certain effects, but sometimes that means duplicating layers over and over. And that just clutters the timeline with a bunch of layers, which is never fun to deal with. What we really want is to keep all the changes on a single layer. So we need a way to apply effects to just one layer without affecting the rest. That way, everything stays clean and easy to manage. Let's say we've got a shape and we want to add different colors using the fill effect. Instead of duplicating the shape for each new color, we can just mask the effect directly. So how do we actually do that? All you need to do is select your shape, then set the pen tool to mask mode and draw a mask wherever you want a shape. Once the mask is in place, open up your layer and go to the compositing options under the effect. Click the little plus there. Now you'll see a mask reference drop down where you can choose which mask you want the effect to apply to. That way, you can add as many effects as you like, create different masks, and assign each effect to its own mask. It's a super clean and flexible way to keep your project neat and visually interesting. This is especially handy when you want to add custom lighting effects to an object. By the way, I've got a full tutorial on this technique on my YouTube channel. Just click the link popping up above. Pro technique number two, text animation styles. I'm sure you're tired of adding your text to projects in a super simple way without any effects or style, and it just ends up looking flat. A professional motion designer always steps up their game by adding some cool text styles. One of these styles is the cartoon text style, which can really grab the viewer's attention. In After Effects, by combining a few effects, we can create these styles, and it doesn't matter what style it is. Every style can be unique. For example, when we create text like this, we can set up a separate composition. And there, using the grid effect and the fast box blur effect, we can create a unique style and adjust the colors to give them some movement. Finally, with the track mat tool, we can easily apply that composition onto the alpha of our text. So everything shows up exactly within the shape of the text. By combining a few effects, we can even make our text look 3D without having to use any 3D tools. Using effects like Minimax, Transform, and duplicating the transform multiple times, we can create a fake 3D effect that makes it look like our text is truly 3D, even though we didn't use any 3D tools at all. And this keeps our project light and simple, but we can still make it look even cooler. For example, by adding an effect like Turbulent Displace or Cool Stroke. And of course, all of this depends on your style, but giving our text a unique and professional style like this will definitely make our work stand out. All right, pro tip number three, the rotating loop for 2D objects. We've all seen animations where, for example, someone is working with or looking at a bunch of pages spinning around them, or a scene where we need to create a sense of chaos that eventually turns into order, spinning around an object or character. So how do we do this in After Effects with minimal effort? All we need is the CC Cylinder effect. This effect helps us create a 3D rotation around any axis we want, and it doesn't matter what that axis is. You just have to put all your 2D layers into a Y composition, then apply the CC Cylinder effect to that composition. The effect does the heavy lifting and creates the rotating loop for us. We can still tweak things, change the rotation angle. We can adjust the light settings 
duplicate layers and position the subject exactly in the center of the loop. We can even add shadows if we want. All of these tricks help us create a professional animation in the shortest time possible. If you want the full tutorial on this technique, just click the link popping up above. Now for the fourth technique, twisting layers. So when you have 2D layers like a card and you want to animate its rotation, when you make them 3D and give them a 3D span, it's a good idea to add a bit of curvature to make it look even cooler and give the rotation a nice transition effect. I'm sure you've seen this technique before, but to pull it off in After Effects, we need to use the time displacement effect. This effect helps us to make the top half of the card spin slower than the bottom half. And this difference gives the card a twist in the middle. All you need is a solid layer with a gradient from black to white. And when you apply the effect, you set the displacement map to that solid layer. Then you adjust the max displacement setting and keep it really low. Also, make sure to set the source to effects and masks. When you're ready to finalize your work, you want to bump up the resolution of that layer to a high value, like 100. This way, the animation quality will be at its best. It's true that this makes the rendering process a bit longer and harder. But trust me, the result is totally worth it and looks super professional. You can also watch the full tutorial on this technique and the animation of the scene you're seeing right now by clicking the link that's popping up above. Now, with technique number five, Say goodbye to drop shadow. In After Effects, if we want to add shadows to our work, we can use tools like Drop Shadow or even plugins like Shadow Studio, which each have their own unique features and appeal. But the real pro move is how we animate our shadows or how we make them react to a specific light source. When we design a text or object in After Effects, we can duplicate it and turn the bottom layer into a shadow. This shadow can be created with effects like fill or we change its color. Or with the CC radial fast blur effect to soften it up, giving it a more realistic shadow look. With some simple adjustments and even adding a glow or optical glow, we can make the shadow look even cooler and more professional. But the key pro tip here is we can create a shape to act as the light source. Then open the CC radial fast blur effect we applied to the shadow layer. And use the pick whip to link the center of the effect to the position of the light source. Now, when we move the light source, the shadow will easily shift and react to the light's position. It might seem like a simple task, but this small technique can really take your work to the next level. I hope these techniques help you get more professional with After Effects and create even cooler motion graphics. And if you want to easily learn After Effects and all its key techniques, I suggest joining my Motion Hero course. There, I've taught everything from A to Z about After Effects with fun exercises. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you in the next tutorial.